Hi, welcome to Dupy Animations. So it's been a while since I've done a tutorial on Cinema 4D. So today I'm hoping to change that by branding a TV channel. But we are going to focus on creating a coming up intro for a TV program. All right? Please kindly like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, let's start. First, let me open Cinema 4D. And I'm using Cinema 4D R18. It doesn't matter the lower or the higher, any of it can do it, okay? So first, let's create a rectangular spline shape. This, okay? Um, and let me see. The width, let's go 500. And the height, 800. Okay. All right. So you have something like this. And uh, let me see, the roundings, let's take it, then let's make the radius something like 25. Let me just make it something like 15. 15 for the uh, radius, okay. Now let's go and select an extrusion, the subdivision is here, extrusion up. So click and drag the rectangle into the extrusion, all right. Now let's see. The thickness of the extrusion, uh, we can't see it well. So let me come to display options and select grad shading lines so that we can see the thickness. It's way too thick. So let me make it something like, um, let me make it one centimeters. One. Okay, one is okay. All right. Okay. Now let's insert in the null object. So let me come to create, then object, null object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag the, uh, the extrusion into the null object. All right? Okay. Now what we need now is a, a deformer. So let's come here and select something like a twist. Twist. Okay, here is it. Now let's click and drag the twist into the null object too. Now let's work on the twist properties here. So let me see. Uh, what? Let's go something like 500. The height, let me see, 800. Let me see 800. Okay. 800 is okay. Then the thickness here, let me go something like 20. All right. So the rectangle fits into the twist perfectly. All right. Okay. Now we need a cloner. So let's come to the mode graph and select cloner here. Then click and drag the null objects into the, uh, the cloner. Okay. All right. Now, let me see the counts on the cloner. Let's go something like seven. Seven is okay. Then the, it says here, the offsets, that's why. Let's go zero here. So that everything is in line. Now let's come to the mode. Then change from linear to radar. Now the planar here, let's change it to X, Z. So we have something like this. See that? Now the radius here, let's go zero here. Let's go zero here so that everything will be in the middle here. Okay. You see that? So we are on our way. Now let me come to the coordinates on the cloner. We are going to do some simple animation here. So uh, let me increase this thing to something like 150, the frame rates to 150. Then here on zero, let me make it something like minus 360. Then set a key. Then bring the timeline to something like um, 120. Okay, 120, then go zero. Okay, so you have something like this. See that? All right, so after that, go into the graph sheet. So let's come to window here, then come to the curves. Okay, the F curve. So we are just going to adjust the curves here. Okay. So let me stand on this point. 
then drag this in. Stand here, then drag this one also in. Okay. All right. It's like working on a B spline. Okay. So now let's see. You see now it's rotating evenly. At first, it starts slowly, then in the middle fast, then ends slowly. But now it's rotating evenly. Okay. All right. Let me take the grid off. Is the stratum. All right. So now what we are going to do again is let me come to objects. So objects. Okay. We are going to animate the end angle. Okay. So I'll start from 20. So I'll set a key here on the end angle. Hold the control, then set a key. Then come to that. 130 okay then change it to zero then hold the control key then click to set another key so you have something like this okay now let's animate the twist too okay all right so the twist angle here is zero so let me make it 90 okay now you see that when I did that, it has deformed the shape all right. But this is not what I want. You see, although it has deformed it, it has not twisted it the way I want it. See, see, see. All this go down to the rectangle here. Okay, so let's change that. So on the rectangle, let's change it from adaptive to either natural or uniform. Any of them will do. Okay, any of them will do. Natural uniform will do. Then the number, the number here, let's increase it. To any number at all that you prefer. Okay, so now let's come to the extrusion. The extrusion too, we are going to work on it a little bit. So let's come to caps on the extrusion. Then the angles here, let's change it to quadrangles. Okay. Then regular grid. So you see that it has changed. You see how smooth it is now. You see. So when you watch here, let's play it and see. You see. Okay. So now let's come to the twist and animate it. So on the twist, I'll start from 120. So I'll set a key on 90 and the I hold the control, then click to set a key on the 90th angle, then come to something like 130, then zero. Okay, hold the control, then click to end the key. So you have something like this. Now, this is not what I want. So I'll open it up. So I'll start from somewhere like um, 100. Let's see from 100. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. That's zero. Let me change this into this side. Okay. Okay. So now let's see once again. Voila. All right. What we are going to do is, now let's position it. So let me bring in camera. Okay, let me on it. Let me position this to this side. Let me rotate the camera. So uh, let's see. Um, let's go a negative value. So this angle is okay. Let me position it here a bit more. Let me zoom in. Position it here. So this is okay. Let me bring it here. So something like, let me see 30. Let me set a key here on the camera. Then move it to the starting point. Then zoom in towards this and move it this direction so that it will block the entire screen. Okay. So let's see. 
Okay, let me open it up a bit more. So let me go something like AT and C. So there'll be a bit of time on the animation before it settles down. See that? So let's see. So the beginning, let me zoom in more towards us. So let's go this direction. Let's set the key again. Let's see. Then it settles down. Okay, cool. Cool. Now, once you are done with that, uh, what is left with the coloring? Okay. So let's create some materials, simple materials. Double click. Let's open it up. The color. Uh, let's go yellow here. Let me change the color here. Okay. Now the specular. Let's go reflection legacy. Okay. Let me change this from. Let me make it double torus. Then the reflection strength, let's go up. Then the roughness, let's go down. On it, uh, the strength, let's go something like. Mm, I think 70 is okay. 70 is okay on the reflection strength. All right. Let me take the specular down. So this is okay. So just duplicate this one. Hold the Command key, then click and drag to duplicate it. Then let's change the color of this one to something like green. Okay, a bit on the darker side. So this is okay, all right? Now, come here, then select sky, all right? Now, let's try to insert in some HDR material. Uh, I don't think I have anyone do, but let's see. If I could find something to use. So let's come to color. Uh, let me see. Let me open this one. Let me take off the reflectance. So I'll use this one. Click and drag it onto the sky. Okay. Now right click on the sky. Then come to Cinema 4D tags. Then select compositing tags. Then select uh, scene by camera. Hide it. Okay. All right. So now let's apply the material. So the yellow, I'll apply the yellow to the strood and the green to, to the strood. Okay. So now on the yellow, I'll make it um, C1. Then the green will be C2. Okay, so like this, you have the two color blending in a way. Okay, you see that? You see? All right, so now let's bring in some lights. So let's bring in some lights, then select array, then drag the lights in. So I, I need only three lights. Um, what is the lights? Array. It's seven here, so I need only three. So the array. Radius, let me make it 2,200 and what and what. Then the light, let's make it shadow map soft. Okay. Let's see a rough preview. Voila. So we have this. So the top there, you can still insert light. All that you have to do is click on the lights. Let's switch to, to graphic view. Then the lights here on the top. Let me pull it up. Okay. Let me make it also uh, shadow map soft. Hold the command key, then click and drag to duplicate, then bring one down. All right. That's all. So with this, you are done. You are done with your animation. Okay. So let's, the reflection is too strong though. So you can take it down if you want. When it comes to the reflection strength, you can take it to 50. Then 50. Okay. So now let's see. 
Okay, that's all. So now let's play it and see what we have. Then it lands. Okay. Now let, let me take off the grass shading lines and make a grass shading. So now we can see it. Cool. Simple. So this, I rendered this into After Effects, then did the rest of the arrangements. Okay. So guys, this comes to the end of our tutorial on the Cinema 4D part. Okay. If you want me to continue a part two in After Effects, please tag me in the comment section so that I do a part two of the After Effects version. All right. See you next time. And please kindly like, comment, and subscribe.